Making a Roblox game is hard. How about making one in a week with no idea how to script? Well, here I am trying to make a full Roblox game in a week without knowing how to script. Whilst I can sort of build, this will be a challenge. And before I've had any time to think, day one has started. And the first and one of the most important steps of making a Roblox game is coming up with the idea. One idea that came to my mind was making a ski resort tycoon and I thought that would look really cool. I was pretty set on this idea so I decided to go ahead and get started. So if I want to make a whole ski resort everything needs to be built on a mountain. It's going to be really hard making a start without having a mountain in place. I wanted to start by kind of drawing out my vision for creating this whole mountain and how I want the tycoon to sort of work. And to be honest creating a mountain like this from scratch is really hard however in blender i kind of got a base shape i was somewhat happy with that i thought would work and so i thought for now i can get that to roblox and i can start building around it with some assets make some buildings and make a good start but no roblox's stupid mesh collisions were really annoying and it basically meant that this mountain was unusable Ooh, that brother's falling in the air I tried for hours and hours to fix this and come up with a solution, but nothing. I tried changing the collision settings. I tried re-importing it with different settings. I even tried using mesh to terrain so I could at least use that base shape. However, nothing was working. Roblox did not want me to do this challenge. And it was just as I felt like giving up that I had another idea. I could use Roblox's terrain tools to manually draw this terrain myself and have a perfect mountain. The only slight problem was I'd already wasted half of day one, so I really had to get to work. Whilst I was sculpting out the terrain, I actually also blocked out a building and a ski lift. This was just so I knew where I could put some buildings as I'm building it. And then hopefully around like day two or towards the end of day one, I'll be able to start building some finalized buildings and making it look really good. And yet, despite hours of hard work on day one, this is all I managed to do. I feel the mesh collision errors on the mountain I made before really did hinder me, but I can make sure now day two is definitely much more productive and I can get a lot more done. And now for the start of day two, I started by continuing day one's terrain work. And as you can see here, I did loads of the mountain and it looks really good. But that isn't good enough. I need to build a building, even if it's just a basic one, so that I have something to script. I need to start working on the mechanics as I am really inexperienced in scripting. So the sooner I can get to that, the better. So as you can see here, I'm building out this nice house and even though it's just the exterior, it is something to work with. And that left me very satisfied with the progress for day two. And it gets very interesting here on day three. I felt I finally had enough of the map in place to start making the Tycoon function. So I threw together this button model in Blender and this is what you're gonna have to stand on to build stuff. And then I went and textured it in Substance Painter. This is it in Roblox and now begins the hunt for a good YouTube tutorial on how to make a Tycoon. There were actually a lot of different options for some really good looking tutorials from the likes of Polar is Pog, B Ricey, and Alvin Blocks. Alvin Blocks is a channel I've heard of many times and I've actually watched some tutorials in the past, so I decided to go with his tutorial. And for anyone who was there in that live stream, you'd know we had a very good time. But anyway, let's cue an epic scripting montage. Bruh. Yeah, that's all. I didn't realize until after I spent two hours following the entire guide that I was going to be left with an unfinished tycoon system. What I did have was a working buy button. If you have enough money and stand on it, it will purchase what you want it to purchase. But so many features are missing, like there's no ways to make money. Buttons you haven't unlocked yet don't hide. So I've got loads to figure out. However, it is a start. Another thing for the sake of the progression is I need to make sure that I get all the inside of the building done before I can turn it all into a full working tycoon, which leaves us nicely with a lot of work left for day four. So to start here, we are working on the interior of the restaurant building. Another thing on the list was to make a cash per second script so that the player gets a certain amount of cash per second dependent on the different things they've built around the mountain. For example, the ski lifts will make you more money and dining tables in restaurants will make you more money. And if I do any hotels and stuff down the line, like the hotel rooms will make you more money. And so I did that first. And to do this, I basically gave every buildable part an attribute called earnings. And then however many of these buildings with earnings that you own will affect how much money you get per second. And now it feels like this challenge hasn't been going on long, but we're already at day five. Whilst I have definitely made a lot of progress, I need to really ramp up the speed if I want to be able to finish this game within seven days. So to get started here, I need some UI. I want to have a shop where you can buy currency and maybe some game passes. So I'm gonna start by doing a shop button. And yeah, so to do this, I'm just gonna use a square in Photoshop stretch it out, 
round it off and add an outline. I'm now just going to kind of like paint a bunch of layers on, kind of add some nice dripping snow and kind of try and make it look a bit icy to match the theme of the game. And that is it for the shop button. For the rest of the UI, I'm just going to make a shop panel, which is going to be made in a very similar way, along with a nice button thing that can display how much currency you have. This also means I need to make a coin vector, which isn't too hard. But anyway, yeah, that's the UI. I think it's decent, definitely could be tidier, but I'm fairly happy with it. Next thing I want to do is I want to make a tree model. I just thought it'd be cool, you know, a tree. I need some trees all over the mountain. So I'm going to do it with just a nice, simple, low poly, sort of stylized tree with a simple cylinder and just moving some stuff around. And there we go, we have a tree. And on top of this, I had a few bug fixes I had to sort out. The game currently wasn't working. All the general stuff was there. I just needed to fix a few bugs, a few errors, all that sort of thing. But once they were done, that was about all I had time for in day five. And despite I didn't get a lot done, the game is now in a much better state and it's fairly polished and it's just down to me adding a bit more content in day six. And whilst yesterday was definitely the most productive yet, today needs to be levels above. And I started off by making a ski lift. I don't know how it's gone this long without me making a ski lift. I've been using the block out this whole time, but I basically got an image on Google and made something similar. And yeah, it looked really, really good. Made a nice seat thing as well for it to tow around and then I put them into studio and I also realized I need something for the kind of wires to get to get moved by because I needed it to arch over the terrain so I made the kind of pylon shaped thing and then I was like how am I going to do the wires because if I use parts or meshes it was going to take ages to line them up to make them look like good wires I just use beams so you can see here I set up a nice beam system where it looks just like a wire and it was super easy to make lots of them and kind of have it bending around the way I wanted it to be. And then I could add some more of the chairs along the wire. Now that I had the first ski lift in place, I started building the rest of the ski lifts all over the mountain and they honestly, they looked so much better than I thought I could make, which I was honestly so happy with. But then I needed to keep moving. I couldn't sit around and waste time. So what I did was I went and took the tree model I made yesterday and placed it all over the mountain. I used brush tool and because I used Roblox terrain with brush tool it did kind of create this kind of weird skewed rotation on a lot of the trees however i will go over and manually fix that either later on day six or early on day seven and once these trees are placed i have to make another building right now that first building isn't enough gameplay so i decided i was going to make a hotel on the kind of first bit of mountain kind of upper level and so i started looking at some images of sort of hotels and stuff i wanted to make and i found one i really liked so i went with it i kind of wanted to go for this similar look to the other one where you have this nice wooden plank building however i wanted it to look a little bit more modern and of course with it being a hotel the interior was going to be completely different and whilst this is very much a rough start it definitely did give me a good idea for where i was going to take this later in the challenge and another thing i really had to get done on day six was i needed to make buttons hide when they haven't been unlocked this is because they just kind of like float around and there's just too many and it's so cluttering to see so i was like you know what i'll sit down get this done and whilst it was complicated i managed to figure it out and it worked perfectly well not quite but after a few bug fixes it did work as intended but unfortunately that was all for day six and it was time for day seven i just kind of started to realize in my head how much new stuff i wanted to make as well as how much old stuff that was unfinished that i needed to do so i just basically hardly slept and just got working right away the very first thing i did on day seven was finishing the hotel building i had a good block out i had an idea so i just kept working on it and i had a really good idea and i went with it and about two hours later i had a finished hotel building and i was so happy with it of course, there is improvements I would have made, and I did think it was a bit empty, but of course, with the time constraints and all that, I had to rush it. And at this point, I didn't think I had enough content in the tycoon. So I went and made another building, which is going to be kind of like a bar on the hill. It was going really well, and I've had to do a few tweaks of the design, but I had a design that I was really starting to like, but I realized time was short. I had about eight hours left to finish this whole challenge. So at this moment, I basically just cut this off, and I had to just accept that I was only going to have two buildings to release with. It was this moment I was like, the trees are all slanted all over the place. I spent about 15 minutes flipping all the trees, making sure they were all pointing upright. And with time being so thin, I had this UI I made, but the UI wasn't working yet. So what I did was I basically made the cache UI work, which was super simple. I literally just had to do a simple script inside the UI that made it display your leader stats on there. It was when it got to the shop, it was a bit trickier. I was starting to put the shop together and it just wasn't looking good. I just wanted to see if I could get it working just to see what I could do and it just wasn't working and I didn't have time to faff around with it because if I did, I would have failed. So unfortunately, I had to just basically scrap the shop UI and only have the UI which showed how much cash you have. 
which was fine by me because the shop was only going to really be making Robux anyway, which I'm not too bothered about. Now I wanted to add a few little things on the slope, like some jumps and some rails and stuff. I thought it would really be cool to have some kind of like trick stuff on the slopes. So I built that in Blender, put it on the map, and it looked pretty cool. And it was here where I remembered I built a whole building, but the whole game was still not fully tycoon. So I had to basically go and turn the whole game into a tycoon with the buttons actually working, which takes longer than you realise because the way the system works, I basically have to assign everything, I have to name it all, I have to have the attributes all added, and it took ages, it was a nightmare. And I also had to redo the whole progression system so that the gameplay was balanced. And then here, I remembered I needed data saving. It was then when I had to get up a YouTube tutorial on how to do data saving, and about an hour later, it didn't work. And again, it was another feature I had to sack off. I do apologize data saving isn't there. However, if I do do an update in the future, data saving will be the first thing I add. And then I remembered I needed terrain. Terrain wasn't finished. So I had to basically go and start drawing out all this terrain. And it was genuinely so painful. I was like, oh, the game, I spent a week on this. And it's all crumbling in the last hours. So I spent like the last little bit trying to paint the terrain, trying to finish it up, trying to keep it a bit flatter around where the spawn is. And I just wanted to try and at least finish the terrain. And then time was up. I think if I saw this finished product at the beginning of the week, I would have been happy. However, I did also have a slightly higher expectations in some parts. And I was just so disappointed to have not finished. I genuinely thought that I was going to be finished with not too much difficulty. However, it just got to the point where I had so much to do on the last day and it all fell apart. This is the game I made in seven days. Thank you guys for watching. You can check out the VODs playlist. I'll link it down below. So you can check out all the live streams of me doing this over the course of the week. And do let me know what sort of features you want me to add in the future down below, because I might do a follow-up video doing an update for this game. I also really want to thank It's Robertus for being the first channel member. If you guys want to be a channel member, I will shout you out at the end of every video. And you guys can check the game out at the link down below.